Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. This tutorial will be all about emulators, ROMs, and crap like that. Because I often come across questions concerning that stuff. So I'll tell you what a ROM is, uh, one or two places that you can get the ROMs, what an emulator is, and extraction. So you're going to go to Google and <clears throat> type in ROM Nations. Uh, click on the first result and you'll need to go to the left and click on emulators and then we're gonna get an emulator for the SNES now an emulator is just pretty much a program that acts as a console on your computer so you can play the original games in a form called ROMs so it's very handy and you'll need to enter the code once you click download that's uh, to keep bots from downloading and you'll want to save it to a location you'll remember. And it should be done quick since it's a compressed file. But before we go any further, you're going to need to download a program called 7-Zip. It's an extra a free extractor program. It's very useful. So just go back to Google and type in 7-Zip. And like I said, it's completely free, and it's a relatively small file, so it shouldn't take long to download at all. And you'll you may you may need to unblock it because you know just because of your Windows firewall and crap, and save it to another location you'll remember. So now we need to install it. Um, just go to wherever you saved it at. and it should be a quick and easy install but since I already have it installed I won't even click that button so now you can uh, extract uh, ZSNES with 7-zip it shouldn't take very long at all you just click on extract files and then click OK and then it'll be there and you click it, and that's the interface pretty much. You just press Z to continue, and we can't really do anything with it right now because we don't have the ROM. So, you're going to want to go back to Google. And you're going to want to type ROM Nations again because they have emulators and ROMs but there are some ROMs some popular ROMs that are protected by the ESA and please note that it is illegal to have a ROM that if you don't own the game you have to make your own ROMs you can't download them or else it's illegal so just you know yeah keep that in mind um, I'm gonna download Total Carnage. That's a good game for the SNES. It was originally for the arcade, though. You just click download, enter the code again, and again, save it to a spot you'll remember. Now, see, it's got the 7 zip extension, so you have to have 7 zip to download these ROMs. And we'll wait. Now, you'll need to extract your 7-zip file. Um, just click Extract Files again. Click OK. It won't take very long. And then, uh, those are all your ROMs, pretty much. And so, yeah, just you know put all the files in the total carnage folder or whatever and put it in the ZSNES folder now if it's zipped I think ZSNES can open it without you even have to, having to open ZSNES so I don't know I didn't really try that in this tutorial 
So go back and you go up to the top and click on load so you can load your ROM. And it's got a weird interface. You'll need to click on the folder and then you can click on one of the selections and one of them will usually work. You just got to know which one it is. And then you can run the game. Uh, if you click escape, um, it'll pause the game completely. And you can change how you control the game with the uh, uh, keyboard. So you can change how you move, what you shoot with, all the buttons around. So you can adjust it to your playing style. And you can also make save states, which help you. Uh, they're just like little slave slots. Once you save it, you can open it right back up to that point. See, now watch. We'll get a little bit farther into the game. Yeah, there will be sound when you actually play, but since I'm recording, you know, I don't have sound. But, yeah, once you open the state, you click run again, and it should open up to where you save the state at. So it's very handy if you're trying to do speed runs or anything. Really handy. But there's lots of different things you can adjust, like your video modes, and you can add cheats, and internet gameplay, and tons of miscellaneous things. And that's about it. Uh, you'll need. There's another good site you can go to for ROMs. It's called Three ROMs. Uh, but please note that this site is pop-up ridden, so you will be overwhelmed with pop-ups, and you know they could screw up your computer. So please take warning before you go here. But I'm pretty sure this has all the ROMs, even if they're protected by the ESA, you can still get them. But, it's still illegal. Yeah, you'll pretty much get overwhelmed by pop-ups every time you click on anything. So, brace yourselves. But you can pretty much play any game on an emulator, because there's usually... ROMs for every system, uh, except for the newer systems, like uh, Xbox 360, for example. And ROM stands for read-only memory, which would, which is usually in game cartridges. I'm assuming. Let's see, you can even download Super Mario World, and that's very uncommon because it's usually protected by the ESA. So this is one of the only sites I've found where you can actually get it. So yeah, I, I'm trying to explain all the necessary things you'll need to know in order to run your emulator. I mean, it's pretty easy to understand. You can watch other video tutorials on YouTube. I'm sure other people have done videos like this. Uh, but I want to bring you to a program called Virtual Dub, which you can download for free. I'll probably put the link in the description. Uh, it's very simple interface. It may be confusing at first, but it's really helpful to edit your video.